What's up guys, it's me the Fanatic, and welcome back to part 4 of my Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Egglock. In the last episode we did manage to take on Roxanne and beat her successfully, thank you to Luchet, the whore Lucha. We also saved Mr. Briny and his darling Pico from the grass of Team Aqua. And now we are going to go find out what our reward is from the scientist and meet a person who we have to go and meet. Hint, hint, wink, wink. And of course, with true fashion, we're going to find a Zigzagoon in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Oh my god, you're almost dead. Please run. Thank you. Uh, I, need to I need to heal and riff up. But then again, I feel like I should YOLO this patch of grass. Ah, oh, I should not have YOLO'd this patch of grass. Don't be anything fast. Okay, you're an Incarda. Actually, I can take this thing on. Take this thing on one-on-one. -on -one. Fight me, bro. Fight me IRL. Oh, no, I didn't mean to press scratch. I meant to press water gun. I'm not actually looking at my screen. I was actually looking at my X split because 2DS's screens are quite small. But I can I can deal with that because I only bought this for recording things. So, that's fine. Water gun. Oh, so Arif does have a mouth. It's just where its belly button should be. I get it now. Is that a critical hit? No. That's Aqua Jet for the win, just in case he gets some stupid speed tie win. And Aqua Jet for Anarif. Very nice. Uh, that was a critical hit. Okay. Could have done without the start, but never mind. 60 experience. That's not bad experience, but that did... Do you see the experience part? Like, barely move at all. This Anarif is going to be a pain. I think it's one of them Pokemon that has the lowest amount of experience needed to be level 100. But they... It's like level curve. is flat. So it's always harder to level them up at the start of a game, but the further you get into a game uh, and higher level Pokemon you fight, it's a lot easier because the necessary amount of experience to level up sort of stays roughly the same. I am not going to bother cutting that tree, them trees and getting them berries and whatnot. So let's go down here, and we should go over there with that guy is, but I need to go heal. I really do. My voice is like breaking halfway through. My voice is going to go deep. It's gonna go like... Good evening. And oh, wait, that wasn't a woman's voice. I wonder if that guy in there, I wonder if anyone in this Pokemon Center, I actually don't know if there's anyone in this game that has, like, any use in the Pokemon Center, other than the IV guy. <sighs> I don't have any of the water, fire, grass core, I just noticed, because I saw my Pokemon on the screen, that's depressing. <coughs> now the thing is, it depends if I hatch anything good for my next uh, egg, as to whether who I bench, or not. Because I have two rock types, two flying types. Uh, they're all, like, pretty cool Pokemon that I wouldn't normally use. So I'm really um, undecided as to what I could possibly change. But it all depends. It's all situational as to what Pokemon I get for my next egg. This is the top floor of the Devon Corporation. Our president's office is on this floor. I can't tell you how grateful I am for what you've done for our company. Could you wait here just for a moment? Our president would like to have a word with you. Please come with me. Please go ahead. Dude, that guy's hair. What is that with Pokemon like people having crazy hair? Oh, I just realized there's a picture of an Omanite in the background. Hmm. Oh, we get a nice upgrade for our PokeNav. Can I use the Buzz Nav function? This function I have added something to do with TV, and I honestly don't think I've ever used it for anything other than, um, other than for um, updating my, what's it called, Mirage Spots, that's the one. Um, letter, okay, so that's for Steven. I tell you what, that ore in the background, the blue ore, that looks a lot like the stuff you find in Fantasy Life. Um, Route 104, find it, yes, Mr. Briny can take us to Duford, so that's where we shall have, uh, had head, that's where we shall head. And honestly, this team, <sighs> my words are just not coming out correctly. Luchette is going to be able to handle the next gym with relative ease, so... Oh, hey, Brendan. I wish I could battle him right now. It'd be so much fun. Hey, May. How's your Pokedex completed? Any entries yet? Mine's pretty much rules. Mine's pretty... I went on a Pokemon catching friends in Petalburg Woods, and so I ran out of Pokeballs. Oh, yeah, I passed Mr. Baroni in Petalburg Woods. I bet he was on his way home to his cottage on Route 104. I guess you wouldn't know, but since he just moved here and all, but they say he's the guy who used to be an amazing sailor. Sweet. Well, if that isn't a subtle enough hint as to what we're meant to do next, despite being told like three times, we'll go do it. I think that's pretty much it for Rustboro for now. 
Don't actually know if we'll ever come back, so goodbye, Rustboro. Nice knowing you for the last half an hour. Let's uh, go around and head back through Petalburg Woods where it all began. Why is the fence like missing here and it has a sticky out bit? I just don't don't see the logic. It looks stupid having a broken fence. I don't get it. I know I could go right and get a miracle seed, but I don't have any grass types, so who needs a miracle seed? Um run away from that arc. Oh, boom burst Taylor, anyone? That'd be lovely. Let's uh go through here. Oh, I hope someone's bred me a boom oh no, they don't get boom burst, do they? You need to teach them that with a uh, uh wish them that with heart scale, don't you? Um, where am I going? I don't know why I'm going. I was meant to be going to see Mr. Briny, wasn't I? I always used to have trouble actually even trying to catch Mr. Briny in this house, right? Darling Pico. Hold on, lass. Belay that, Pico. Belay. Very fancy old English. Oh, if it ain't May. So what? He goes from saying belay to ain't. Do you Cockney or are you like posh old Cheshire? Whatever. Oh, no, wait. I didn't mean to do that. Come back. Yes, I wanted to deliver. I didn't mean to press B last time. It's just, why does it like hover over never mind when you're meant to go? Oh, never mind. Um, why is it saying no valid data when it's quite obviously valid data? Never mind. Look at that wing girl. Based God flying along with us. Where have all the rocks and islands disappeared from the sea? Stop saying no valid data. There is perfectly valid data here. The screen's just white. There you go. Ahoy, we've struck land in Jewford, lass. I suppose that you're heading ashore to deliver that letter to what's his, what's his name or whoever. If you're feeling lost or adrift, though, try calling in on the island's Pokemon gym. Leader Brawley surely knows everyone and everything that goes on in this town. Okay. Oh, I remembered we can't... Oh, we have to take on the gym first, don't we? But we can catch some Pokemon here. This is a renowned fishing spot. Are you getting the itch to fish? Yes, I am. I hear you. I like what you're saying. I'll give you one of my fishing rods. And we obtained the old rod, so we can go catch a Magikarp. A couple of Magikarps, actually. Um, actually, we can get three new Pokemon before the gym, just to uh, play uh, with the team a bit. Let's catch some uh, Pokemon first. Extend the episode a bit, because we could just, like, get through the... Dewford is really easy to go through in this in the remakes in the originals it was really tough I mean they simplify they sit oh wow I pressed a like I'm really bad at fishing on this game I pressed a and like oh it's a tentacle okay and nips is up top I should have led with Dratini so I can fund away this thing well, let's go into Dratini then where is Dratini you are here Lance and twist is not gonna kill it because tentacles are especially bulky now, am I going to be able to take Poison Sting? Do not poison me. Do not get that poison. Thank you. Let's Thunder Wave. Oh my god, the based Ellie liked my video. Thank you, Ellie. Thank you for watching my Egglog video. That's, that's warmed my heart. Tentacle's paralyzed. Oh, and he's paralyzed. Oh, there it is. I think I did that better than I did in the first video. It's from Pitch Perfect. If you guys haven't seen Pitch Perfect, you need to see it. It's such a funny film. And they're bringing out part two, or like not part two, but a second one, and it's brilliant. It might look a bit like a girly film, but, but trust me, it's one of the most funniest films you'll ever see. Anyway, let's catch this. I have five Pokeballs. I might need to invest in getting some more before I go get anything else, because I don't want to fail at catching these things. One, two, three, caught. Lovely. Okay, tentacles caught. I will go catch some more Pokemon before I trade them in. So the first egg I get is going to be level 5. Very nice. Tentacle's data was added to the Pokedex. Registration completed. The tentacle absorbs sunlight and refracts it, using water inside its body to convert it into a beam of energy. This Pokemon shoots beams from its small round organ above its eyes. Giving name to the tentacle court. No, because you're going to be boxed for life, mate. I was going to call him Meng and then change my mind at the very last second. Oh, I know what I can do. I know what I can get in here. Yeah, yeah, I did. Um, no, you're not the one who gives it to me. You give me the silk scarf. Thank you. I'm going to give that to Minchino, and Double Slap's going to be doing a lot of damage. The silk scarf raises the power of null type moves. It's a marvellous scarf that will go up almost any... I wonder if the silk scarf works with... A Maura and its refrigerator ability. I don't know what happens if there's like an order. I'm very OCD about my bag, by the way. I'm gonna have to sort these. Um, am I looking? No, there you are. Silk scarf. 
Let's give that to uh, Mincino then. And let's also put Dratini back on top, just so we can go catch another tentacle, probably. Because you find more tentacles. I guess make, finding tentacles in the sea makes a lot more sense. Tentacles actually a really good Pokemon. Tentacruel. For, like, something you can find so early on with an old rod, it's a very good find. I, I, I personally think, anyway. So what have we got? Uh, old rod. What can we catch? Before it's shiny. Let's chain fish for the win. Didn't reel in too slow, which is nice. And it's going to be another tentacle. Yes, it is. You're going to be level 5 as well. I'm pretty sure everything you use your old rod on is level 5. So, yes, it is. Let's uh, Thunder Wave. And then Twister again. I'm getting a weird sense of deja vu here. And, actually, I just remember there's another place you can fish. I only found this out recently because... Um, because I found when I was surfing towards the sh the abandoned ship from Duford, uh, there's like a little bit of like land you can go on. Oh, I flinched. Para flinch. Op. Oh wait, I said I was gonna buy some more Pokeballs, didn't I? I actually think there's a Pokemon on this on this island. So um, I think I'll probably oh tentacle. Don't do this, demon man. Don't make me go all the way back to Petalburg just to get some more Pokeballs. And you're still not poisoning me, which is good. If this one doesn't catch it, I'll have to twist her again. But I know I'll critical hit it, because that's that's my life. One. Oh my god. Why was the other one so easy to catch? Now he'll poison me. Yeah, there you go. I was going to say, I've been hit by four poison stings and haven't been poisoned yet. That's outrageous, because poison sting always poisons. Alright, let's twist her again. Oh, do not crit. Do not crit. Thank you. Right, this, te this tentacle... Right, flinch. You deserve that for not staying in the Pokeball, to be honest. I'm going to have to go and buy some more now. I'm going to have to go all the way back to Petalburg. Annoyingly. Very much annoyingly. I'm not making it up when I say there's no Mart here, right? Two. Three. Click. Thank you. So, we got Tentacle. And... Uh, it just, like, made me waste my Pokeballs. No one grew a level. No, let's not give a nickname to this Tentacle. Let's go back to Petalburg now, quickly, to get some more Pokeballs. Probably about... I'm going to restock to about 10. I need to heal this poison off, though. Oh, I can also catch a Pokemon in Petalburg. Oh, all these Pokemon I can catch. I know they'll, only, they'll all be level 5. I guess it makes it trickier, though, for me. Which is good. I could save, like, these spots for um when I get a Super Rod or Good Rod. But, hmm, maybe I'll save Petalburg. Um, yeah, I don't... Tentacle can just hang in the box. We'll hatch them all at once. So let's go back to Duford now. I haven't delivered the letter yet, but we're going to go back. No. I want to settle back. Oh, yeah. I want to go to Route 104. This is Petalburg, please. P Pico, we're setting sail. Him and his Pico. It's this scene. It comes up saying no valid data. Why? I don't know. Why? I do not know. I'm not doing anything different to normal, but it's still recording. So that's fine. Okay. No valid data message, can you disappear now, please? I can see you very clearly being recorded. Thank you. Thank you. It always scares me when that comes up. I'm like, oh my god, is it recording this video or not? At least you'll get my narration and know that there was meant to be something there. And um, where's this mart? It's over here somewhere, isn't it? There you are. Why did I just go around the Pokemon Center? I do not know. Just for a bit of, bit of a difference. Welcome to the Pokemon Mart. Yes, some Pokeballs, please. Oh, I can buy Great Balls, too. Okay, let's top up on Pokeballs to five. And Great Balls, let's buy four of them. So we're definitely set for the next few routes. Potion, don't need. I have enough potions anyway, and I honestly don't think I'll need them for this next gym, so that's fine. Now we can just sail all the way back and see that nice and no valid data message again. I don't get why it does it. Stupid thing. I don't get... Does it just think the white screen is a failure or something? Let's go back up here. Go talk to Mr. Briny again. Come here, Mr. Bright. Thank you. Yes, now... I'm not going to make the same mistake as before. Head to Duford. His house is very... I don't get why, like, none of the houses have... Like, they don't have beds. I mean, where the hell do they sleep? Yeah, it's come out saying no valid data again. Dude, there is very much valid data. And there goes base god again. Wongol Luminati confirmed. They're the ones behind this no valid data message. I see you. I see you. 
Ahoy, we've struck land in Jufu at last. I suppose you'll be heading ashore to deliver the letter to what's his name. Yes, now we can finally take on Brawly. And I'll probably... Hmm. Let's go catch the Pokemon first. Just in case we get anything cool. And I'm pretty sure... We'll come and battle these trainers after we defeat Brawly, I think. Get some Pokemon. Uh, have I got Dratini on top still? I do. Please do not bump into Abra. Please bump into like a, a Zubat or something. I mean, Zubat should be in caves, right? Well, it would be nice if I could catch anything. Okay. Be a Zubat. Or a Makahita. Yes, you're a Zubat. That's what I wanted. Okay. Let's Thunder Wave Lance. Please. Level 11. He could fit straight in our team, depending on what it is. It's fast as well. It's very fast. Thunder Wave. Okay, you're not faster anymore. We can we can twister this thing. We can twister it. Twister and shout. Catch this. Twister. Oh my god, that took him really well. Astonish. I bet E Speed probably wouldn't even kill. Let's go for it. No, not fun. No, I didn't. This is a prime example of me clicking incorrectly. Man, this thing is doing a lot of damage to me, but I'll live another hit where everyone's going for right extreme speed this time. Thank you. How much is this going to do? Okay, that's good. He's in a, he's at a amount of health where I can catch him. Let's go with a Great Ball. I don't want to mess around. I do not want to mess around. Let's Great Ball this thing. Are we going to catch Zubat? Is he going to be our Granite Cave catch? Nice and level 11. One, two, three. Caught. Very nice. So Zubat is our last token before the gym. I did say there's another route, but I want to save it. I'm going to save it. We don't want to overstock on eggs too much. I want to keep up the suspense. So, registration completed. Zubat avoids sunlight because exposure causes it to become unhealthy. During the daytime, it, stay, it stays in caves or under and or under the eaves of the old household, sleeping while hanging upside down. Giving it name to the Zubat? No. Right then, let's go hatch three eggs and then take on Brawly, because you have to take on Brawly before you can go do the Granite Cave uh, story bit. So... We'll come do that after we take on Brawly. And I don't get... I I don't... I'm not too fond of, like, the change they made to Brawly's puzzle. I quite like the Emerald one. Uh, this one's just confusing. Let's heal up, because Trishini took a lot of damage. And I wonder what cool things we'll get from Eggs this time. Remember, Jute's Claws is in action, but hopefully you guys were smart enough not to send me duplicate Eggs. So let's see what we've got. We've got two level 5s. So the first two Eggs are going to be level 5. And I will just quickly deposit. None of you guys benefit from happiness, so you guys can just go in the box for now. No, Cypher. Awesome, Sizz, you're going in the box. Right then, let's uh, take an egg from each box. I'll have that one. So that egg can go in my party there. You're level 5. This one is going to be level 5. And this one is going to be level t 11. So it could potentially come straight in to the thing. I think I got the eggs the wrong way around, didn't I? I think these eggs should be switched around here. There you go. And if not, well, it just randomizes it up even for me, even more. Oh? What's this egg going to be? You're a level 5 Pokemon. What are you going to be? Be something good. A water or a fire type is what I really like, please. Apom! Another normal type. So, to be fair, I could get an Ambipom. I wonder what egg moves. I wonder, he might have egg moves. I know some people went through a lot of effort to um to give these Pokemon egg moves. I'm gonna call you cheeky because you're a cheeky monkey. That's what you are. You're a cheeky monkey. Right, what's the next egg gonna be? Uh oh, this is also gonna be level five. What's it gonna be? Be something good. Please. Really good. Horsey! Oh you're coming on the team, dude, because I want a Kingdra. No idea where I'm gonna get a like a dragon scale from. I might have to look it up, but what do we call you? You're a female horse. Uh, hmm. Let's call you. I'm gonna call you. I don't know what to call him. Uh, I don't know if that's how you spell it, but I'm pretty sure Aragog is a dragon from like Harry Potter or something. Or no, not Harry Potter. It's a book series, isn't it? Is it? Or was it Harry Potter? 
I don't know. I just called it Aerogold because I thought, well, it evolves into a dragon. That's if I get it that far, but... What's this there going to be? This is going to be the level 11 guy. A Riolu! It's a real shame that I already have... Horlucha. What should I call you? Well, there is only one thing to call you. No, not... Not S. Let's call you... I was going to call you Aura, but that seems too obvious. I'm going to call you Patches. Because that seems like a little nice name for a fighting fox. Patches it is. Right, let's quickly level these guys up before I forget to do it. And then we'll have a quick look at their stats and moves. Chiku level 2. I'm going to have to look and see where I can get a dragon scale. And then I can trade and uh, get that thing to evolve into a Kingdra. And right, I want to keep... I'm going to keep Riolu, Sand Attack, so you're level 4, level 5, that's what I want. Right, Aragog's going to be level 5. I wonder if he has nice egg moves. These are all really good eggs though, guys. Thanks for sending all these in. Level 4, and level 5. And you learned Smokescreen, so maybe that means you don't have any egg moves. Now, Riolu, Lucario, I'm pretty sure Lucario gets lots of decent egg moves, so it could be, could be interesting. I'm going to keep Riolu in the box in case uh, I ever lose Horlucha, but Horlucha is kind of like my starters, so I can't, I can't bench it. Plus it's got, oh wait, he's trying to learn counter, which means, well let's check out his move, shall we? What's he got? Crunch and bullet punch. Oh man, I so want to keep this thing on my party. It's too much, it's too painful, too painful. Alright, we won't learn counter, give up on that. Getting to level 11. Okay, I'm gonna have to reevaluate my team at this point. Apom's gonna go in the box because I want to use not because I don't. I really do like Apom and Ambipom. It's more the fact that I I don't I haven't used Minchino as much, and I would like to try and use Minchino slash Inchino more. Faint. Um, no, I'm fine with the moves I have. Thank you. So let's quickly check the Pokemon I have. So Horsey is a special attacker, which is perfect. He can replace a physical attacker that I deposited. What did I deposit? Anamrith, Cypher. To be honest, I don't want to use Cypher. Because I have a flying type. Adamant Technician is beautiful. So thank you for whoever done that. So I might keep him a spare. So I'll keep spares in box four. And you can be replaced by Horsey. I'm going to have two dragons at this rate, though. Uh, though. Gentle, swift swim. Um, you've got Prankster as well, so you're going to be Hidden Ability. What's Lucario's Hidden Ability? No. Anarif. Wait, I feel like... Oh no, they go in the spare bit, don't they, up here? I know Sizbit, I will honour the nicknaming process. I will call that Sizbit if that is you. So, um, I seem to be missing. I want to take Aurorus because he's unique typing to me. None of these guys offer anything more than Riolu would. Plus, it's got it's got priority, priority bullet punch for them fairies. Plus, Lucario. What's what's not to like about Lucario? Hey. Plus, he could evolve anytime soon. I need to get that Soothe Bell. That's what I need. Right. Let's put Luchette on top. And I guess um, we'll go take on the second gym. And then I'll probably save the Granite Cave bit for next part because this could take up a while. I keep making these videos like half an hour 40 minutes long that's not what I want to do I want to keep them shorter than that but it just seems there never seems to be a good point until like half an hour in Meditite okay these are the only things that could be remotely scary with confusion but I know because Holuch is just a beast it's gonna kill things with wing attack no no sweat oh all that has endure just to be a troll of course I didn't check the moves of uh, Apom did I or, or, what's his face? Oh no, I checked thingy, because it had bubble, didn't it? Yeah, that thing was, that, that, um, horsey is obviously not, like, bred to be IV bred. You can see because of the natures. No one breeds competitive, gentle-natured Pokemon. Wow, I lost. $416, not bad. Right then, where is this path? Okay, I go down, no, I go up one, left, and just follow it. I, the reason I don't like this gym is, pardon me, I just forget all these patterns. Mighty's right, come on. 
Is it? Is it right? Is it right though? You are challenged by Black Belt Hideki. Black Belt Hideki sent out my chop. It's just too easy. I wish I kind of got like a psychic type I could have used in this gym rather than Horlucha because I don't want to just go through this with Horlucha. Wing attack. But I know if I don't do it with Horlucha, I'll just lose because he's weak to fighting. Chinchino. Minchino, rather. Oh, wow. Wing attack didn't even kill it. Okay. It's fine. I can get a home claws up uh, against Brawly. Although he might bulk up, to be fair. Let's karate chop. Kill this and my chop off. And that's a dead one. That's a dead Machop. I still have that berry on, on Luchette, don't I? It's not going to be so helpful anymore. Aragogri level 6. And Maragogri level 12. Not enough power. Power levels 1 over 9,000, my friend. That's what they should have been. Right, what's this puzzle? Uh, across 4, up, and then follow the path. Yeah, there you go. Too, too strong. Um, I want to go to the left, don't I? Because if I go right, I think you get blocked off. And you just get fucked over and lost. So, we go left and just follow the path. There's no need for Brawly to be involved. I'll crush you. Will you? I disagree. I very much disagree with you there, woman. Meditate. Don't endure. Come on. Go for that focus punch. I loved it when um, Brawly's Meditate had focus punch and just completely effed you over if you did not attack it. That's what I like to see in a Pokemon game. Difficulty like that. And that's just a dead meta type. Perfect. I wonder if there's anyone else I could bring in for this next Pokemon. Oh, Nearly level 16. Lance level 12. Aragrogu level 7. Machop. Do I have anything for a Machop? Like I said. Ingino? No. Aragog? No. Patches? No. Amara? No. Lance? Maybe. We'll stick. And twist and shout. Twist and shout. We attack this thing one more. Yes, okay, it's dead. Level 16, okay. We've got this. We've got Brawly. We've got Brawly in the bag, I reckon. I reckon we're pretty safe with this. You check Rude level 16. Aerial Ace. That non-missing wing attack. They both have the same base power, so I'm quite inclined because Home Claws and Roost are going to be both very useful in the long run. So, uh, Wing attack, it is. I think I might forget Roost next for Flying Press, because I, I don't know if Flying Press is like super effective against Rock, for example. Because it's Flying type and Fighting type simultaneously, which means it's side by side, doesn't it? So, I guess that means it'd be neutral. So, I kind of want to keep... Um, oh, wait, I didn't see it. No, I want to go this way, don't I? Down. There's a, yeah, up here. Up. Round. Brawly. This guy lifts. I don't get his little movement here. I don't get what this is meant to be. Is he like caper tossing or something? With an imaginary log? I'm Brawly, Juford's gym leader. I've been churned in the rough ways of these parts, and I've grown tough using the cave as the out at the outskirts of this town as my training ground, as well as using the equipment in this gym. So you want to challenge me? Let me see what you're made of. Thumbnail confirmed. <laughs> so we are versus Brawly. Oh no, wait, that could be the thumbnail. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Leader Brawly sent out Machop. Okay. What are you going to do, Machop? Are you going to bulk up or focus energy? I don't know, but either way, an aerial ace might kill you. Level 14. Right, let's hone claws. Let's hone claws. Let's be greedy. And let's just kill this thing. He's gone for the Leer. Okay. Okay. We've got this game. We've got this, guys. We've got this. Luchette. Aerial Ace. Wabam. That's a... D oh, my God. That was just more than death. That was just... Probably chucking a bit of a... I don't know. Racism and rape in there as well. Sorry. That was a distasteful joke. Level 8. Maku Heater. The fat blob that is the heater of Maku. That made no sense. Let's aerial ace this thing too. Nice and luchette sweep. <laughs> it's only because the eggs were generous, guys. If I didn't get this thing, we'd be stuck at the first gym still. You defeated Leader Brawly. Whoa, wow. You made me a much bigger splash than I expected. Nice money there. Nice money. Okay, you've got me. Take this gym badge. 
Look at that lovely knuckle. Lovely knuckle badge. Oh, it's actually called the knuckle badge. Well, that was a coinky dink. The knuckle bag me <laughs> the knuckle badge makes all Pokemon up to level 30. Even those you get in trades, obey without question. Hmm. You know what? I think you can make full of this, full use of this too. It sure will help up Pokemon bulk up muscle. And we received bulk up. Now, honestly, when the when I first played Pokemon Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, uh, Ruby and Sapphire, I didn't really think much of moves that boosted your stats. So I just preferred hitting things with attacks that do damage. Honestly, bulk up is such a good move, and I should never have overlooked it. Uh, it's full of fascinating stuff like rare stones and wall paintings, thousands of years old. My friend Stephen rushed to the cave after I told him about it. You're telling me a stone maniac hadn't been to a cave famous for stones? Really? Okay. Well, guys, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and heal right now, but we're going to end the episode. Next episode, we will go and meet Stephen in the cave. We'll also go to Slateport and uh, see what trouble is going on over there. And also maybe explore a bit more. I haven't done much exploration. Maybe I should do that a bit more than I am. Otherwise, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you are not already. And otherwise, guys, I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.